Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter and this is your update in ophthalmology and eye care from Raleigh. Today I would like to explain bullous keratopathy, which is a medical term for a problem that can occur with the cornea in the front of the eye where it becomes swollen and cloudy. Now this can occur after people have had multiple operations on their eye, uh, particularly with cataract surgery and glaucoma surgery in the front part of the eye. Uh, or some people, if they just have a very complicated cataract surgery or a cornea that is not very healthy, it can occur just after cataract surgery. Now what patients may notice with this problem is that their vision becomes more cloudy and blurry. They may get very sensitive to light or have pain, feeling like something's in their eye. Uh, or they could have uh, erosions on the surface of their eye that cause quite a bit of pain from time to time. Now, uh, with this, when we look at the patients on examination, we can see that the cornea, instead of being nice and clear, uh, becomes swollen and uh, more difficult to see through. And on the surface, there can be bumps or almost like bubbles of fluid that build up underneath the surface because the cornea is so swollen with fluid that this fluid is starting to push out towards the front. Now, in the early stages, patients may be able to treat with a strong saline drop called Muro 128 to help reduce some of the swelling. But if this doesn't improve the vision or the problem, or if it continues to get worse, they may need an inner layer corneal transplant in order to improve vision. Uh, the two main transplants that are performed now are called DSEC and DMEC. We can put the link if you want more information about these procedures, but this problem, bullous keratopathy, is one of the leading reasons that people need to have a corneal transplant. Uh, but afterwards, then we expect that the cornea can become clear and vision can improve and the patients can be much more comfortable. Uh, so this can be a, a common problem sometimes, but now with cataract surgery continuing to advance and be safer and finding better ways to help protect the cornea, we hope that the incidence of this will be less and less as time goes by. If you ever have any problems with this or if you have problems with your vision and you're thinking maybe related to corneal swelling, please post. We'll be happy to answer them and hopefully see you again soon next time on A State of Sight.